going on YouTube. Big day today, heading out to Sneaker Culture. It is a sneaker event here in Indianapolis. Um, running a little bit late. Wanted to start this vlog earlier, but didn't really have time. Had to get the baby ready, get her over to get her over to grandma and all that stuff. So um, running a little behind schedule, but it's no big deal. Meeting up with my boy Jared right now. My dad's gonna come with us. He's not huge. He's not a big sneakerhead, but I think he's gonna have fun. So I invited him out to come with us. It's gonna be super dope. We're gonna get a lot of content out of it, hopefully. Uh, maybe even grab like a steel or something if I find it, but <sighs> My first time ever going to a sneaker convention. I'm a huge sneakerhead. I love shoes always have I build my outfits for my shoes like that's just how I am. I don't know why that's how I was like I've been since a kid um, and One of the main things you'll hear me talk about a lot of my channels just my shoes clothes in general like fashion in general one of my bigger topics something I'm, I'm pretty invested in most of the time so it is a normal topic for me, but pulling up at my mama's house right now, gonna pick up my dad. Well, Jared's already here. We're gonna hop in his car together, probably just head up there. And yeah, it's gonna be some good footage. What's going on? We are back at home after a long, long day up in Indianapolis at this uh, sneaker culture convention. Super dope time. I really let myself down on the whole recording thing. I only got a few good clips. But, oh God, sorry. My throat hurts. I don't know if I mentioned, but it was also a, like a, it was a convention, but they also had a music performance by Mark Battles. And uh, if you guys don't know who Mark Battles is, you're definitely going to by the end of this summer man is blowing up he is doing big things he's out of indianapolis dude's been in the rap game for like 10 years now and uh, i believe it was last year or the year before he signed a qc quality control out of it out of uh, atlanta you guys don't know that record label that's uh migos Lil yachty a couple other people that i don't actually really know um but mark battles just signed to them a couple like a year and a half ago and uh I mean, he is, he is such a genuine artist. He makes real, like, real rap music. Not that other people don't make real rap music, but, like, it's that stuff that's, like, real deep most of the time. Sometimes he's got a few hype tracks, but this is an ad for Mark Battles, by the way. Uh, great performer, great artist, just a really genuine dude, always hitting people up on Twitter, DMing them, Snapchatting them and stuff. I mean, great guy. And he did a little, he had a show here last night in Indy sold out because i mean it's his hometown obviously everyone's gonna go um but he did a show here last night sold out and then he came through sneaker culture today did a quick like 20 minute set it was absolutely crazy we got a couple clips from other people that are gonna send them to me so i can edit them into this video because it was really cool i actually didn't get them on video and uh yeah i did a little bit of a little bit of copping not a whole lot i actually I'm gonna explain to every, like I'm gonna do another separate video on like explaining like how like not really how to like buy shoes the right way because there's really no right. I mean if you see a pair of shoes and you have the money to buy them if you want them just buy them. But if you're not trying to go out and shell out like three, four, or five hundred dollars on a pair of shoes because you want it, there is a way you can get those shoes by spending significantly less. You're still gonna spend probably two hundred dollars, but if you can cut the price in half, but cut the price in half, you know like obviously. So, um, like I said, I'll make a, a separate video on that. But you guys will see a little clip in here. There are there will be a little clip in this video. The shoes that I did buy, some human races. I don't know why I'm like super. Right now, I'm like super set on getting a couple pairs of those. I already have a couple pairs of Yeezys. I want to get a few more of the V2s. I want to try and get a pair of V1s. But that'll probably be a little bit down the way. I'm not making that dough yet, but I will be eventually. Um, yeah, I did a little bit of recording. I recorded some of the drive up there. It was fucking horrendous. Traffic was awful because uh, it was Sunday in Indianapolis, so it was just bad. 
but yeah i mean overall super fun day heading back home now i miss my babies I'm so excited to get to see them I haven't got to see them all day and um I mean, that's pretty much it. Next time around, whenever there's a convention, I definitely want to get... I actually want to set up a booth uh, and do, like, authentication because... Or, like, legit checking because that's something I, I've actually... After I started buying shoes kind of heavily, I got really into, like, telling, like, real from fake, uh, which I guess a lot of people do. I mean, shouts to Easy Busta, you know, Busta Gang, Busta Fame. Best family on YouTube. Well... Soon to be the second best family on YouTube. Damn it. Oh, I got it this time. Woo! So, I said soon to be the second best family on YouTube because you know your boy's going to blow up soon. Uh, I'm speaking that into existence. No shot to easy best to love that guy. But, like I said, uh, I want to do a booth at the next one and do some like legit checking. Maybe, I'm, I was thinking about charging, but honestly, I might just do it for free. Honestly, for 45 bucks. Or however much it is for the day. Just get a booth out there and legit check. Help people out. Make sure, you know, no one's getting scammed. No one's getting fucked over. Because that tends to happen a lot at smaller sneaker conventions. Oh, I'm sorry. But, I mean, it wasn't as big as I planned on it being. It wasn't, it definitely wasn't, it wasn't a mass. I knew it wasn't going to be a massive convention. But it was a little bit smaller than I thought. But, I mean, nonetheless, my voice is really fucked up right now. Because I did a lot of yelling at the during the music performance part, because that's my dude. But nonetheless, I mean, it was really, really fun. I mean, honestly, a really cool experience, because I'd never been to one. I learned a lot about the whole sneaker market and how it works and how people, I mean, it's just, it was a nice experience. I definitely appreciated it a lot. So, with that being said, I think, I think that's about it. Honestly, guys, I'm almost home. I'm super excited. I'm going to try and edit this video tonight and get it out tomorrow. And uh, that's about it. Like, can't think of much more I got to say. If you guys like this type of, this type of content, even though there's not a whole lot of the speaker convention, if you do like stuff like that, let me know. I'll be shooting to go for more of those uh, to get more content for you guys. Or if you just like sneaker-related content in general. Let your boy know if you don't find a different channel to watch. I'm sorry, that sounded weird. Uh, but that is, like I said, like I said earlier in this video, that is something that I'm pretty heavy on. I do enjoy a lot, so um, and I will make a couple videos down the road, probably in the near future, um, explaining why I'm so big into it and my views on like the market nowadays and the whole idea behind the shoe culture that's going on. Because I mean, it's big. It's it's a big deal. It's a big thing. So. But until then, thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. I probably sound a lot different than I did at the beginning. <clears throat> Almost threw up. Let's go like I said, my, my sword, my, my sword, what? My throat is like fucked right now, so. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a dislike, leave a bad comment. I don't even care. Give me something. You know, give me some feedback. I will try to make my next video gaming related because of course that is why I'm here on YouTube in the first place. That is why I started doing this because I, I game, I stream, I record. Um, and I definitely want to kick up the content a little bit more and push it out more often. So that will be the goal for the rest of 2019. And until the next video, y'all have a lovely day. Stay blessed. Stay positive. I mean, fuck, I don't know. Love life. Gang. Okay.